Hey everybody, Sparhawk OD here. Uh, you know, I have been worrying about making this video about uh, about diabetic retinopathy, number three in the, in the series. Um, I've been trying to figure out, you know, if there's a way I could look at, uh, you know, get some pictures or, or you know, show you something. Uh, I tell you what, though, if you really want to get scared, uh, you know, about diabetes and diabetic retinopathy, just go and Google, uh, do a, do a uh, an image search on Google or Yahoo for diabetic retinopathy. Uh, first things that come up are going to be pretty scary looking. Uh, but let me tell you about a little bit about uh, diabetic retinopathy. We talked a little bit about your A1C test a while ago, um, and uh, what thing what you have to remember about the A1C test is that it is a good gauge of you know what's going to be happening in your body and and in your eyes. If your A1C is above 10, we can almost you know I'm, I'm going to expect to look in your eye and see some sort of problem back there, some sort of hemorrhaging or some sort of you know at least a little bit of something going on. Um, uh, so that's the that's the again you know just to remember to take uh, take a good look at your A1C and make sure that it's uh, where it should be. And uh, so what happens uh, with diabetic retinopathy? Now diabetes over over time and or, or if your blood sugars are just way really really too high for a long time, um, the blood vessels, the tiniest blood vessels, the capillaries, um, as blood rushes through them, the walls actually are thicker. They're a little bit thicker, but they're more porous. That means more stuff can get through them, like little bits of blood, little proteins can leak out. Sometimes just fluid can leak out. Uh, the problem is not as much oxygen passes through that to your tissues, so uh, with it being, uh, you know, a little bit thicker. So both of those things um, kind of lead to something called diabetic retinopathy. When I look inside the eyes, I'm looking for little tiny little pinpoint hemorrhages uh, in the in the retina itself that usually you know associated with a little blood vessel next to it or something uh, sometimes they're a little kind of more than a pinpoint it'd be like a little blotch of a little of, of hemorrhage there sometimes we see something like uh, you know just extra fluid in a certain spot or kind of you know proteins that would look white to us um, there's also, you know, when I talked about less oxygen getting to a certain part of the, you know, the body because the, the, it can't get from the vessel to the tissue. If that happens, then we'll see what we call cotton wool spots. And those are uh, where we see less, it looks kind of whitish, we see less um, coloration to the retina. All of these things are and make up diabetic retinopathy. Now, uh, it, it comes in many uh, concentrate, well, not concentrations, but many um, uh, versions. Some of them, you know, so a lot of times it's really mild. We'll see one hemorrhage, or we'll see one here and one over here, and uh, you know, not really bad, you know, a little bit of a concern, but not, uh, you know, sight threatening. Um, and then there will be on the other end of the spectrum the ones that you're looking at on uh, on Google images and on you know uh, Yahoo images the ones with a lot of hemorrhaging a lot of little extra blood vessels a lot of white spots um, that's the you know that gets that's where it gets dangerous um, so uh, take a look at those uh, you can see what that does um, I don't know how much information you get from this uh, this little video but uh, just to know that's the type of thing we're looking for when we look at, when we dilate your eyes and we look into the back of them. I'm looking at those blood vessels to make sure there isn't any of that, um, you know, retinopathy. Um, again, a lot of times you're, uh, you're not going to know. You're not, you just won't know. Uh, there's a little hemorrhage here. It doesn't give you any visual or sensation at all. Um, it's just there. Uh, if it's a, a, a random little hemorrhage like that, sometimes they will resorb, it'll go away. And if you've had diabetes for a long, long time, uh, maybe the next time I see uh, there'll be another one in a different spot. Uh, we just want it to be, you know, at minimum, you know, one or two hemorrhages like that, uh, uh, keeping them at the minimum like that uh, instead of, you know, more severe. So. Um, that's the kind of thing we're looking at. Uh, hope that it, uh, you know, this was, was, was at least a little bit useful. Um, but in any case, that's the main thing. That's the main thing I'm looking for. So, uh, if you have any other questions.
please let me know and uh, and we'll keep it moving. I'll try to, uh, I've got some other topics uh, on my mind. We'll, uh, we'll take some other videos, take a break from the diabetes stuff, but please let me know if you want any, if you have questions about it. Um, if you want to know anything about it specifically, um, I will uh, certainly answer those questions.